we feel like the way that that, that we want to play uh, as far as playing fast and, and moving the ball, letting in multiple guys, uh, you know, get shots and, and, and make plays uh, is beneficial for, for everyone that's playing. So whether guys are hurt or not, uh, they still have the opportunity to show what they can do. And uh, obviously with our players that are out, uh, we have a better chance of succeeding when they're playing, uh, but we still feel confident with the guys that we have and the way that they're playing. Anything pop out at you when you watch the film from last night? Um, defensively, our, our switching was as bad as I've ever seen, um, which is not a good sign considering we have Denver and the Warriors coming up. Offensively, we did some really nice things. Um, Brooke was fantastic at establishing himself down low again. Brooke's switching was pretty good, too. Um, Julius, when he drives into the paint, and play makes it, it's it we have we get wide open shots um, because he does such an amazing job of collapsing the defense and he did a really good job of, of doing that last night um, as opposed to trying to score over you know multiple defenders um, liked our effort our overall energy and effort was was uh, was solid but a lot of a lot of room for improvement with Julius a lot of times you think of players and you even before the season, said, yeah, I want the shot to keep developing. How much, though, do you want him to continue to just drive straight to the rim? And I, I guess you could have both, but do you want him to... Want the shot to keep developing? Is that what you said? Well, right, but not... You know, there are some players yeah. who are explosive earlier in their career, and then they start going out yeah, 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 yeah. more jumpers. So how, what's that balance going to be for him? Well, he's, uh, he, can, he shoots the ball well, but he's just so good. It's so quick, so strong at getting to the rim. Uh, had a couple of really nice... Uh, duck-ins from the weak side yesterday where him and Brooke have kind of started to build a nice connection with. Um, he He's too do dominant physically, I think, for him to be settling for jump shots. It's just, it takes the pressure off the defense uh, when he does that. Can you summarize how well he's played or what he's done in the past two months? You can see the staff, but when you look at the film, what are you seeing beyond the box? Well, I, I, I like the... Um, the, the growth in, in the overall game that he's playing. I mean, I know the stats are great and he's playing unbelievable, uh, but what I'm most impressed with is uh, his understanding of how we want to play as a team and for the most part doing that. And that's, um, it, it's really helped us as far as, you know, pushing the pace when he gets a rebound, when he gets into the paint, collapsing, making an extra pass. Uh, defensively taking more of a role, uh, talking, uh, being versatile, switching uh, on the, you know, on the other team's better guards. So just his overall view of how we want to play as a group and him embracing that and, and doing a really nice job of that. Do you have to game plan now, just knowing the way the last couple games have ended against the Nuggets, what kind of game plan for the fact that they'll be trying to get in your guys' heads? Like, how do you mitigate that? Do we game plan that they're trying to get in our no, heads? Is there something you do to try to like negate them, like trying to, to punk you guys? They they haven't punked us. They try, but they tried, right? Like the uh, Jamal Murray stuff that you talked about. Yeah, that's not punking us. Okay. But back to the original question. Do we in, game in plan against yeah. it? No. Okay. Uh, we game plan. Uh, they're a good team, uh, so we we game plan against a lot, a lot of stuff that they do. Um, but that's not one of the things we game plan against. It just happens. Are you going to talk to the guys about the situation? About what? The non-punking. Well, it's, I mean, clearly Jamal did some stuff that you guys didn't like last time. Is there going to be any conversation? Are have a conversation with the players about... No, we're going to... We're going to talk about what we need to do to win a game. That's it. Anything else you've known or, or, or I guess discussed about your Ingram? You said you feel feeling pretty good, but the you have to be next to anything yeah. like last night. No, he's you know, he's in there getting treatment right now on the Ultra G machine, so it's good to see, but um, nothing new with this will be paid again. It's it's a growing injury, so we're not gonna we're not gonna rush it. It's when he's cleared to play we'll get him back on the court. Uh, but we'll keep taking it just day by day. How's Josh Hart doing? 
He's in good spirits. I told him to lay off the pain pills. He's smiling too much for being hurt. Uh, but he's, he, says he's, he's, he says he's doing much better. Do you, um, in your conversations with coaches, players, have you sensed that Julius's reputation has changed around the league this year? Um, I would imagine. I, I haven't talked to a lot of other coaches about him. Um, but what he's doing right now, he's got. He has to be on everyone's radar. I mean, he's he's playing unbelievable basketball, and he's he's a matchup nightmare for teams. He's he's versatile, so he's uh, he's done he's done very. I, I would imagine this is my just me guessing at it, but I would imagine most teams are pretty impressed with what he's doing. Quick NCAA question: Arizona wins the conference, only gets a four seed. Only three teams get in. Two of them in clouds. You know what it is. It's the East Coast bias. I mean, it's all. It's all. It is every year. Um, we'll be at four seed. I think when Miles Simons was a four seed, that's when they won the national championship. So we'll just we'll have we'll, we'll we'll get our second one this year. But there should be more than three Pac-12 teams in the tournament. Yes.